Hey, this is Brett, and we're going to walk through how to export a site from WordPress.com, what to do with the file, and then how to take that file and import it into a new WordPress setup on a managed WordPress hosting service from GoDaddy. This is going to be a very specific little tutorial just for that circumstance of so going from WordPress.com to managed WordPress hosting on GoDaddy, not generic or other types of hosting, just the managed WordPress hosting. So first things first, we're in WordPress.com right now. We're in uh, a site. This is just a, a very basic little site. There's only two posts on the site. One of them has an image, one of them doesn't. And we're going to export the site. So we're gonna come in uh, to the admin area and go to the tools menu and choose the export uh, option in the sub menu. And WordPress.com does offer uh, help with this. If you like, you can do a guided transfer. In our case, we're going to do the free transfer. So we're going to start the export. We're going to export all content. We could do pieces of this if we wanted to, but we want everything. And we're going to download the export file. It comes into our downloads folder. And then we're going to uh, switch over and log into GoDaddy. Okay, now we're logged into GoDaddy. I've moved into my GoDaddy hosting account. And I have a couple different uh, hosting plans on this account. I want to go into one of my plans and I want to create a new WordPress installation. Now I already have one WordPress site running on this particular account. I wanna create another one. So you'll see one here called vivmag.com. I'm gonna come over to manage, the green manage button, click that. And at this point I want to come in and set up a new WordPress website. So new managed WordPress website, you wanna hit set up. At this point, you'll be given an option to create a new WordPress website or migrate your existing WordPress site. Now, please note, we're moving from WordPress.com. That's not a typical WordPress site, and we cannot migrate, we cannot use this migrate option uh, to go from WordPress.com to a GoDaddy site. We need to create a new WordPress site on a, on a self-hosted plan, so we need to choose this first option on the left, create a new website. We have our download folder we're going to pull that in a little bit and in this case I don't have a domain name set up for this this is just a temporary little uh, site that I'm creating for this video tutorial so I'm going to use I'm gonna leave it checked to use the temporary domain name that they're providing if I had a domain name I could use that and set that up here but I don't have to do that yet if I don't want to if you have a domain name you can put it in at this point you could type in the domain name copy down these details for the DNS uh, records and you could update update your a record to point to this IP address this video will not cover that portion of the setup we're just taking a look at how to move the content in right now so we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna pick my email address I'm gonna come up with a, a temporary admin name I'm just going with uh, uh, something that's not admin If they'll let me, I'd, uh, okay, well, we'll just make something up. If you'll notice that GoDaddy has some security uh, options to protect you from doing something silly like I was about to do. And then I'm going to uh, quickly come in here and use my password generator to generate a password. And I'm gonna save that password just in a quick file somewhere in case I lose track of it initially. It's always going to copy my username as well. I'm not going to leave this site up and right now we'll kill it after this video tutorial is done so I'm not too worried about people seeing uh, this information. So then I'm going to hit finish. I'm not going to worry about saving my passwords. And GoDaddy is now installing and setting up WordPress on my managed uh, WordPress hosting plans. They're setting it up in the server, making sure all the software is installed and they're probably going to throw in some of their own plugins and things like that that they use to help keep things running fast and smooth. Video tutorial just shows some of these steps taking place. Doesn't mean much other than to let you know that something's happening.
Okay, and when it's done, it takes you right into the new site. So here is our site. Uh, this is a new temporary website. You can open the site and view it. This is a default installation of WordPress. You'll notice it's got the Hello World stuff in here, etc. Now, we're going to be importing a new site in here. We don't want that old garbage uh, within our system. So I'm going to come in here to post. I'm going to delete out this stuff because I don't want to see it. I don't want it getting mixed in with our uh, site that we're importing. So I'm sending that post to trash and I'm going to delete or empty the trash, delete it permanently. I'm going to take a look at pages and do the same thing. trash there as well I'm going to take a look at the settings now you'll notice uh, the general settings for the website are not going to match what we have on wordpress.com uh, so if I wanted to or what I would need to do the import process will not copy these settings so if I want these settings over here I need to literally copy and copy and paste each of these particular fields I won't have to do this with all my content this is just the High level settings. So if I wanted to match, I need to come over here and copy paste some information. And you can go through this field by field to make sure that everything is set up the way that you want. There's a number of different settings. Not everything that you see may match completely, that's okay. One thing on the new site that I do want to do, I need to make sure that I save my changes as I've added those items. And I wanna to go to permalinks, this particular setting. I wanna make sure that I uh, use either month and name with post name or post name alone. I personally tend to use simply post name alone. You may want to go with month and name. Uh, if you have questions about permalinks, that's a whole nother topic. Uh, so if you can, note how your website files are structured. Take a look at what a post looks like, for example. Does the year show up? Does the month and day show up? Or does it just show the post name uh, in the title? Or maybe you might see some default code that looks like this with a question mark P equals 123 or something for each of your posts. You'll need to identify that. When I set up new websites, I always go with post name keep things simple that way but since you're migrating from wordpress.com you may uh, you may have some different settings that you want to use so at this point we are ready to import our file so I am in the GoDaddy website the new WordPress installation on the GoDaddy site and I'm going to scroll down again to tools this time we're not going to uh, go to export we're going to import because we're bringing that file that we downloaded into our new GoDaddy site. We want all of our posts to get to be brought into this new installation. And with the new installation, you'll need to identify where you're bringing the file from. WordPress won't necessarily know where you're getting that import file from. In this case, it's coming from another WordPress installation. So we're going to hit WordPress. This will prompt you to install a quick little tool that will run the import. All you have to do is hit the Install Now button. This will load the WordPress importer. Uh, into the system. It's not turned on yet, it's only installed, so we need to hit this activate plugin and run importer link. Bottom left. At this point, the plugin is running and it's asking us where is your file. There's a, a button here that says choose file. We need to go to our downloads folder, which is where we saved our export file, and I need to search by date to find it. Uh, the most recent uh, item and there it is. Oftentimes it'll have an XML. There's a couple different ways that you may receive this file. It might come zipped up or something like that. So you'll need to find the file that they send you. Choose that file. And at that point, you're ready to hit the upload file and import, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to be importing uh, an author, the author of the files there. And I want to download and import all the files. So all the images and things like that, I want my new WordPress site to pull those down and across from wordpress.com. So I'm going to hit submit and it's going to run the import. And at that point it's all done. It says all done, have fun. 
So now what I need to check it to make sure everything came across. So first I'm gonna to go to my posts and I can see that I've got test post with image and another post uh, before that. I can compare that over here. I can see I've got the same thing uh, on wordpress.com. I haven't gotten rid of any of this from wordpress.com. Exporting doesn't delete from wordpress.com and we don't want to delete yet. We wanna make sure we get everything first. Now, I wanna make sure that the image came through. So one place I can look to confirm that is the library. I can go into the library and see if anything downloaded and I see that my image uh, is in there, the one that I had added uh, on the old site, on the wordpress.com site. So I have this image in the media library in wordpress.com and the media library in the GoDaddy site now has it as well. Furthermore, I can refresh our new GoDaddy website and we can check and see if the information is there. We can see that our image does show up. Now this is a different theme running on the site, so it does look different. This isn't the same theme that I have running uh, over, he over here on wordpress.com. If we went to appearance and themes on wordpress.com, we'd see that we we're running a theme called uh, Amberu, but on GoDaddy, we're running a different theme. This only brings in the content. It doesn't bring in the theme, the design file, the skin, if you will. WordPress works like a paper doll system. The content, all of the posts that you write, all of the pages, those are the doll. And the theme is akin to the clothing that you would put on a paper doll, and that can be swapped out. Exporting the files from WordPress.com does not export any of the theme or the design of the site. That has to be recreated or re-downloaded separately uh, from the people that would provide that theme. Uh, directly. You can't bring the theme from WordPress.com into uh, uh, a self-hosted installation. So we have all of our content. The site is ready. We've managed to move it all across. And that is the end of this particular tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. If you want us to expand on some of those side topics that we uh, touched on a little bit, such as permalinks, or how to install themes or add theme files and things of that nature or copying some of the other settings, uh, let us know and maybe we can help. Uh, we uh, are here for our clients and, and people that are interested and along the way we try to help others if we can.